Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be taking you through a grammatical concept. Perfect aspect. And we will begin with present perfect aspect. Perfect aspect is also referred to as completive aspect. In many cases used to show that an action or state has been completed. Present perfect aspect is made up of uh, the present form of the verb to have, of which we have either have or has, plus the past participle form of the main verb. It is imperative to know where we use various pronouns with the various verb to have. For instance, we have, uh, let's draw a table here. So, first person pronoun. Then we have second person and we have third person. So here we will have singular and then here plural. So the first person I. I takes the verb to have, have, in plural, we have, second person, singular, you have, in plural again, you have then the third person we can have either she he it maybe the name of a person Jane or James any of these takes the verb to have has she has he has, it has, Jane has, James has. In plural, we have they have. An example, we can say, an example of a sentence in present perfect aspect. I have gone to the market and uh, the present perfect aspect we have the verb to have plus the past participle form of the verb go which is gone. I will take us through some of the uses of present perfect aspect and the first one present perfect aspect is used in an action that began in the past and is still continuing present have managed this business for many years so the business began in the past but it is still continuing presently Number two, present perfect aspect can also be used when talking about a state which began in the past and still continues. I have been patient with them. So the condition of my patience 
began in the past and it is still continuing. Another use of the present perfect aspect is that it is used to show an experience. So the example here is I have seen a giraffe. So in that case, present perfect aspect is used to show uh, an experience. Perfect as a uh, present perfect aspect is also used to show an action, a habit that began in the past and still continues. For example, She has eaten in that restaurant since last year. When we want to show that something has just happened, then we also use present perfect aspect. She has just arrived. So in such an instance, we place just between the verb to have and the past participle form of the main verb. Again, present perfect aspect can be used to show something that happened in the past, but it is connected to the present.
we have lost our access books. So the losing of our access books is something that took place in the past. But then its effect is being felt even now. There is a connection between losing the access books and the present condition of maybe inability to use those books. Viewers, if you are new here, kindly hit on to the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. Until next time.